Is it time to buy or sell Fannie Mae stock? In this video, we're delving deeper into Fannie Mae. Our initial report was released on Thursday, March 21, 2024, and now we're providing you with a more comprehensive analysis. Remember to subscribe, like, and enable notifications to stay informed about our latest insights. Stay tuned for essential updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions with our newly introduced AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Utilize AI capabilities to receive free price predictions and detailed analysis for any of the 25,000 companies globally. Please be aware that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be construed as financial advice. Since March 7, 2024, our system has rated Fannie Mae as a hold slash accumulate, with a score of 0.00. Let's review the stock's performance during this period. During this time, Fannie Mae has exceeded our expectations, showing a 48.47% gain since our initial recommendation to buy 11 days ago. This results in an average daily return of 4.41% since being labeled as hold slash accumulate. A score of zero suggests our system foresees high volatility and risk for the next trading day. With recent developments, the stock's future direction is uncertain, with possibilities for both upward and downward movement. The stock has broken a strong short-term upward trend, indicating a potentially stronger rate of rise. In case of a pullback, support is expected at the previous trend's peak of $1.73, offering a possible re-entry point. Fan theory suggests a resistance level at $1.98, likely to challenge initial breakthrough attempts. Looking at the three-month trend, a projected 53.4% change is anticipated, with potential returns ranging from 16.99% to 36.71%. For the 12-month outlook, a significant 216.49% change is forecasted, translating to possible returns between 83.97% and 146.29%. This could lead to a price range of $3.58 to $4.79 within a year. Fannie Mae's stock price saw a significant increase of 8.06% on Thursday. The stock price rose from $1.80 to $1.95 on the last trading day, with a fluctuation range of 9.34% between a low of $1.82 and a high of $1.99. In the past 10 days, the price has risen in seven instances, showing a 48.47% increase over the last two weeks. The trading volume also saw a positive uptick, with 3 million more shares exchanged compared to the previous day, totaling 13 million shares traded for about $25.80 million. Looking back over the past 52 weeks, the stock hit a high of $1.99 and a low of $0.393. Currently, the price sits 2.26% below the 52-week high, at $0.0450 lower. Furthermore, it is 61.1% below the all-time high on December 1, 2016, when the price peaked at $5. Analyst Ratings On Monday, February 26, 2024, Keefe, Bruyette and Woods upgraded FNMA to an outperform grade. Analysts have rated Fannie Mae stock as a general buy. They consider the P-E ratio and price to book as buy. However, for return on investment, the analysts have given the stock a rating of neutral. Fannie Mae's signals point towards a positive forecast for the stock. The stock has buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, indicating a favorable outlook. Additionally, a general buy signal is present as the short-term average surpasses the long-term average. Support levels at $1.66 and $1.37 may prevent significant downside corrections. A recent buy signal was issued on December 27, 2023, resulting in a 116.11% increase so far, suggesting further growth until a new top pivot is identified. Furthermore, a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, and rising volume alongside price support a positive technical outlook. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal. Pivots, 
by signal 59 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 9 days ago. Short-term moving average, by signal 20 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 14 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, by signal 11 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 15 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 178 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, by signal 174 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Today, let's dive into support, risk, and stop loss for Fannie Mae. Fannie Mae currently sees support levels at $1.80 and $1.67, just below today's trading level. It's important to note that when a stock tests a support level, there is inherent risk involved. If the support is breached, the stock may move down to the next support level. In this case, if $1.80 is broken, the next support levels are at $1.67 and $1.54. With high volatility, Fannie Mae is considered a risky investment. In the recent day, the stock moved $0.170 between its high and low, representing a 9.34% fluctuation. Over the past week, the daily average volatility stood at 8.82%. Before discussing potential trading levels for Fannie Mae, let's review some key fundamental data. First up is the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio, which compares a company's share price to its per-share earnings. A low P-E ratio may suggest a dim outlook for the company or indicate an undervalued stock, presenting a possible buying opportunity. Looking ahead, the Q1 2024 earnings report is slated for April 30, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates stand at $0.600. Monitoring these figures is crucial as they can significantly influence stock prices. Now, let's delve into potential day trading levels for Fannie Mae. Notably, there is no significant resistance from accumulated volume above, indicating a possible swift upward movement for the stock. Consider entering a position and using volume as a guide for your exit strategy. Conversely, Fannie Mae faces its initial support level at $1.80. Should this support hold, it could present a favorable entry opportunity with the expectation of a rebound. The consensus rating for Fannie Mae from various analysts is a buy. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trading activities. On January 1, 2024, McCoy Danielle M. made an insider purchase of zero shares with no securities beneficially owned. On June 2, 2023, Raghavan Chetler S. conducted an insider buy of zero shares with no securities beneficially owned. On May 21, 2023, Richards Ramon conducted an insider buy of zero shares of common stock. On March 13, 2023, Selig Michael A. made an insider purchase of zero shares with no securities beneficially owned. On December 5, 2022, Moon Anthony conducted an insider buy of zero shares with no securities beneficially owned. From the 41 most recent insider trades, the insider power is calculated to be negative with a ratio of 0.000. In total, insiders acquired zero shares and sold 69,272 shares in the last 41 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $1.88, representing a 3.3% decrease. This stock exhibits significant daily movements, leading to high risk. The RSI 14 is at 85, further escalating the risk level. Additionally, a buy signal was detected from a pivot bottom identified 58 days ago. Is Fannie Mae stock a good buy? While Fannie Mae shows positive signals, it may not be strong enough for a buy recommendation. It's currently more suitable as a hold candidate, suggesting holding or accumulating shares and monitoring future developments. Our analysis indicates that the current price of Fannie Mae is considered overvalued based on recent volatility and trading patterns. 
Looking ahead to trading on Friday, March 22, we anticipate Fannie Mae to open lower by dash $0.0267 at $1.92. Before engaging in trading, it's important to understand the high risk of potential financial loss. We recommend consulting a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Please be cautious and refrain from solely relying on stockinvest.us for your investment choices. Your own judgment and responsibility are crucial when using the provided information. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we're discussing our current view on a particular stock. We'd love to hear your thoughts, do you agree or disagree? Drop a comment below and let us know your target for this stock. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. Wishing you successful trading and a beautiful day ahead.